Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel, Witness Love. My name is Corey. I hope all of you are having an amazing day, evening, and a good night. For today's video, I am finally getting around to recording all of the candles that he and I finished within last month in March. So we do have this um, bin full, and I'm just going to hop right into it. We have this Yankee Candle Tutti Fruity. Uh, this did provide a lot of soot. That is usually the case with these kind of, uh, I wouldn't say vintage, I forget the exact uh, name within like the old labeling uh, for Yankee Candle, but I did love this scent and I did put it on the candle warmer, that lavender one there towards the end. And just figured to let it sit for a good three days. And yeah, I love this one. It sort of reminded me of the taste of a C4 drink. But in this case, the smell of a C4 energy drink. We have the Mystery Candle Drop. One of my two favorites so far that Bath & Body Works has released candle-wise for this year. You have espresso beans, warm vanilla, and lemon peel for number 33. I just love this mixture. It sort of gave me a lemon buttery coffee cake type of deal. And yeah, this one burned all the way down and not really any soot that much, just some towards the bottom. But this was a decent throw and love that fragrance. Number 42, I do love over 33 because this has that leather, cinnamon, and sweet cream. <laughs> Something about this one is just a very uh, seductive fragrance. It's very, like, cozy, but yeah, this one I recommend sort of burning towards uh, bedtime. And just the way that this lights up is fantastic. It sort of looks like an espresso. And for this, same exact thing, really, as 33. Just some slight soot. But these two performed amazing within the fragrance throw. Here we have a mess of single wicks. Uh, peppermint sugar cookie, always a favorite for Christmas time. You have the creamy butter, soft sugar crystals, um, soft sugar cookies with vanilla extract and crushed peppermint. Nothing wrong with a peppermint sugar cookie. Got some of these single wicks from Aldi. You have Muffin compares to you. This sort of gives me the Goose Creek Blueberry Cheesecake candle that he and I have had in the past. And yeah, this was nice burning and melting on the candle warmer. Oh, <laughs> same with this instance. Um, candle as I throw it at you. This is a tough cookie as it ended up on the floor. But you can see it, the wick uh, sort of got off center because I was melting that on that little lavender candle warmer. And yeah, always a fan of sweets, chocolate. I've been binging on like Easter candy and Easter chocolate. So <laughs> love that for me while burning the bakery scented candles christmas cider this is a cinnamon delight same as peppermint sugar cookie a nice one to burn around like the holiday time but i enjoy any of those cinnamon and bakery scents year round this one is freshly brewed coffee had that going on the candle warmer and just started now with a three wick. You have freshly brewed coffee, steamed milk. And yeah, hands down, uh, one of their best like black coffee candle fragrances. Warm apple pie. I remember purchasing this in store because someone came in and returned this from their online order. Yeah, this was sort of a disappointment. Uh, burning the candle and also it melting. I could not smell it if only I was bent over the candle. But it smelled like a delicious warm apple pie with that brown sugar, pie crust, and apple. And 
yeah, you can see like the wick separation, but even smelling it now, I can hardly smell anything how it was uh, performance wise. This right here is Root Beer Float, a, another fave of mine, and have this going on the candle warmer towards the end. And yeah, this sort of gives off a licorice vibe included with that vanilla and um, the root beer, of course, but I don't really get a caramel drizzle. It more comes off as a, a licorice candy. I believe how root beer is supposed to smell in that type of deal, but yeah, I enjoyed this when burning and also... Uh, the candle warmer this one just burned for the heck of it and uh, put on the warmer teakwood forest I believe this was from Dollar General didn't smell so nothing to say about that we have this black cherry cola I saw that they're doing a little repackage of mainstays summer candles coming out soon at Walmart so I will get my hands on that this by far I enjoyed this one like it smells exactly how the name is and it was a delight burning in our bedroom and then had it going on a few days on the candle warmer so I could see that black cherry cola layering while burning next to the root beer float this was a lovely citrus bergamot candle from Aldi and shockingly with how their candles have been two wicks this burned all the way down, and you can see the wicks did break off, and yeah, I just very much enjoyed this. It gave off lime, and always a lover of lime scents. Here's this Setting Sun by Dollar General Candle. This was the same case as I can't really... Um, yeah, I can't really get that unscrewed, but this was on the candle warmer, and we burned it a few times, and it was a nice sort of like sun wash citrus um, scent. Another single wick and peppermint sugar cookie. This Aldi candle here is one of their St. Patrick's you have over the rainbow. And yeah, had this going on the candle warmer after burning it down to that. And you had notes of white grapefruit, hyacinth, hyacinth, and jasmine. So enjoyed that one. On to some Bath and Body Works candles, whipped coffee. Hayden got me this for Valentine's, and it was a delicious coffee espresso creamy candle. <laughs> and yeah, it's sort of a toned down version of freshly brewed coffee, but add that sweet espresso cream to it. And I do love this packaging. I forget what year this might have been. I feel 2021 Candle Day, possibly, because they did have how many other scents, Wild Bear Jam Donut, and different ones in that collection. Wild Berry and Oob. This one was good while burning, and yeah, it was a sunny mess. So you have that fresh wild berries, purple oob, creamy vanilla. <laughs> I think it's, um, what, wild berry ube or some type of deal. I'm probably not um, saying it the right way. But yeah, this was a sunny mess. You can't really see it, I guess, from the candle lid there. And around the corners of how the wax has been setting after it was in the candle crock. And I am still getting it on my hand. So I noticed it at that time of burning. It was just a lot of set build up. And I'm like, nope, we're just putting in the candle crock. This pink pineapple, pink apple punch with crisp apple melon and sugar crystals this is a nice uh spring summery scent and yeah it sort of gives out the smell of a jolly rancher had that going in the candle crock towards the end and it did its job within the fragrance throw 
Um, sadly, this Tropodelic, this, um, yeah, I got as a free item up to $26.95. However, I should use on a different candle. I just got this one because at that time of the collection drop, it was very pretty. And, yeah, not really anything much to say. It burnt well, but the scent row was not there. And, yeah, that is irresistible passion flower elena lane and misty rainforest so if you want to throw out i recommend just wearing it in the body care compared to burning it in the candle one of my favorite rose scents yeah pink petal tea cake notes of uh, pink rose petals pound cake and vanilla glaze burn this down to that point and <laughs> i did have this in the candle crock as you can see and yeah this is a um, favorite of mine, I would say, in the floral slash bakery, because that's what this candle is regarding its name and notes. I enjoyed this more in the candle than the body care that was an online exclusive, and then it ended up in our store for semi-annual sale in January. Here you have Top Shop Elf, same as the Tutti Fruity candy, um, candle from Yankee Candle. <laughs> it sort of smells like a C4 energy citrus drink once again. So uh, this and the Tutti Fruity Yankee. Yeah. Same type of deal. This one is more so a creaminess. And this had the notes online. I don't know what they are, but you have billions of toys in just one year. Yeah, sometimes even elves need a little boost of energy. <laughs> so with this collection, and they had a little description, but not the fragrance notes. For this, we have the mainstays caramel corn, popcorn, toasted walnut, caramel. I remember burning a few of these in the summer, fall time, and yeah, it does its job. This one, sadly, did not win burning, so we just threw it in the candle crock. Pink Lavender and Espresso. I thought this would have more of a fragrance throw. This is from last year's. You can see like all that soot. And we did put it on the candle warmer. It's always a nice one that they released since uh, two years ago. With the Rich Pink Lavender, Caramel Espresso Beans, and Smooth Vanilla. I still have the first year's packaging. So hopefully that one performs better than last year's. This I put in a little candle lamp warmer for how long. And I could smell this for how many days. It wasn't like consecutively. But the cuddle weather, it's, yeah, it provides, um, that name is definitely, um, one in, uh, myself and of course, um, with these fragrance notes to put you in that cuddle mood. You have the warm gingerbread tea, cinnamon shortbread, and a cozy blanket. So grabbing that cozy blanket, either burning or warming cuddle weather, and yeah, it'll put you in that uh, cuddle mood. And this, I think, was, um, I believe, two of these that he and I got in our collection. So we do have one more of these, and I'll probably save the next one for, I'd say, holiday time this year. Just within, like, the winter weather and going with the cuddle weather. Down to the last three, Pumpkin Clove. This is always a good one to burn for the uh, summer and fall time, and had that in the candle crock. Notes of pumpkin, nutmeg, and clove. These last two, Hayden's mom found this cherry almond buttercream candle. This is by Swan, Keek, Swan Creek Candle Company, not Swan Geek. <laughs> and yeah, this very much gave off almond croissant, that cherry almond and burn that down to there and did put it on the candle warmer. So that is a um, mess right there. But hopefully we'll find that one again in the future. A weird one to finish off. You have Larson's Burning Wick Butt Naked. 
single wick candle and yeah i found this at goodwill i forget the price it was probably less than five dollars can't go wrong with a 16.91 ounce single wick and yeah from this candle it gave off bath and body works black cherry mellow from the start and then i could get that um baby powder coming out more of the cherry note when it was melting on the candle warmer so that was kind of interesting you have cherry and um yeah black cherry and baby powder mixed in that single wick so thank you all so much for watching this overview of all the candles that hey and i burned in the month of march Stay tuned for another upcoming candle empties because so far we have finished a crate or so of candles at the start of this month in April. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day, good evening, and a good night.